Greetings to everyone in this new video about the synopsis of the movie Don't Worry Darling, so follow the video with us until the end. In the 1950s, Jack and Alice Chambers are a young and love pair living in a lovely area of Victory, California a company town built and financed by the enigmatic Victory Company, for which Jack works. The wives of the men Alice, her friend Bunny, the pregnant Peg, newcomer Violet, and Margaret remain at home to clean, unwind, and cook supper for their husbands while the men go to work at Victory headquarters out in the surrounding desert. The women are advised not to visit headquarters because the dangerous materials the business uses discourage them from asking questions about their husband's jobs. After taking her boy into the desert and his apparent death, Margaret has lost the respect of the other wives. The others dismiss Margaret's allegations that Victory took her boy away from her as punishment and characterize them as paranoia brought on by trauma. Alice notices Margaret's has been trying to administer her medication while she is at a party hosted by Victory's mysterious founder and leader, Frank. Later, Alice notices Frank is watching her and Jack as they have intercourse in secret in Frank's bedroom, but he says nothing. One morning, Alice saw Red by plane fall in the middle of the desert as she traveled across town on the trolley. In her haste to assist after disembarking, Alice stumbles upon Victory Headquarters, a tiny structure with windows that resemble mirrors. She touches a window and begins to have bizarre hallucinations. Later that night, she wakes up at home to find Jack preparing their supper. In the days that follow, Alice starts to encounter increasingly odd occurrences. She nearly gets crushed between a moving wall and a window, and she discovers a box of eggs that is entirely empty inside. Margaret calls her and claims to have witnessed the same event that Alice had. Alice later has a vision of Margaret violently hitting her head against a mirror. She rushes back to their neighborhood in time to witness Margaret slit her own neck and fall from the roof of her house. Shelley, Frank's wife, is teaching a dance class at the time, before Alice can get to Margaret's corpse. Two strange men wearing red jumpsuits drag her away. Jack rejects Alice's attempt to explain the circumstances, saying that Margaret merely fell while washing the windows and is now recovering in hospital with her husband, who was compelled to leave the Victory Project to care for her. Dr. Collins, the local doctor, who asserts to have treated Margaret and tries to give Alice the same prescription medications, provides additional support for this account. Alice later raids Dr. Collins' briefcase and burns a medical record for Margaret that has been extensively redacted out of rage. Alice feels as though Frank is observing her at all times, which causes her to become increasingly confused and paranoid. Alice has a breakdown in the restroom during a special victory event where Frank awards Jack a special promotion, and Bunny consoles her. Alice tries to explain everything to Bunny, who responds furiously by saying she sounds just like Margaret and accusing her of trying to ruin everything for everyone. Later, Alice and Jack host a dinner party with Frank and Shelley as special guests, inviting the rest of the neighborhood aside from Bunny and her spouse Bill. In a private conversation with Alice in the kitchen, Frank suggests that she is correct in her suspicions and admits that he has been waiting for someone to question him who is similar to her. As a result of Frank's admission, Alice tries to confront him and Victory's contradictions over supper. Instead, Frank deceives her, giving the other visitors the impression that she is insane. After that, Alice bleeds with Jack to remove them both from Victory. Jack originally concurs, 
but once Alice is in the car, he permits Frank's men to take her away. Alice is made to receive electroshock treatment by Dr. Collins. Throughout the procedure, Alice experiences flashbacks in which she is a modernized surgeon called Alice Warren, struggling to make ends meet while reciting with the unemployed Jack. After being seemingly healed of her hysteria, Alice returns to victory and reunites with Jack and Bonnie. However, Alice's hallucinations and flashbacks continue as she returns to her regular routine. When Jack kidnaps Alice and forces her into the simulation in the hopes that they can have the ideal relationship, she eventually remembers the whole truth that victory is a fake world that Frank created. When Jack learns that Alice is aware of the truth, he justifies doing this for her by saying that she was unhappy in her actual life. Alice, however, is furious that Jack violated her autonomy. A glass tumbler is used by Alice to kill Jack in self-defense after Jack attempts to crush her while hugging her and pleading with her to pardon him. Alice also kills Jack in the real world. When Frank learns of Jack's passing, he dispatches his men to seize her. Bunny discovers Alice with Jack's body and informs her that she has known all along that victory is a simulation but has chosen to remain in order to be with her children, who are actually deceased. In addition to directing Alice to Victory Headquarters, which serves as a portal out of the game, Bunny deters Bill from attacking Alice for killing Jack. As their husbands begin to panic, the other wives progressively come to terms with the truth. Dr. Collins and Frank's men are on the lookout for Alice as she steals Jack's vehicle and heads for Victory Headquarters. She manipulates Dr. Collins into crashing his vehicle, killing him along with several other people. Shelly kills Frank with a knife at their home, saying it's her turn now. After arriving at Victory Headquarters, Alice sees a vision of Jack pleading with her to remain. Prior to Frank's men catching up with her, Alice hurries to the window while ignoring the vision. The sound of Alice gasping for oxygen is heard over a black screen, indicating that she managed to get away. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.